Hello viewers, this is Kulsum Ahmed. Today I'm here with the topic types of unemployment. This topic is of macroeconomics. So let's see what is it. Types of unemployment. We have frictional unemployment, we have seasonal unemployment, we have cyclical unemployment and structural unemployment. So let's see what are these. Around the world, people are always struggling and looking for good jobs so that they may make money to fulfill their both ends. The definition of employment is willingness and ability to perform certain tasks. And an unemployed person is a person who is either 16 years old or older than that, who is not working, is available for work, has made specific efforts to find work during the last four weeks. And a person who is not looking for work, either because he or she does not want to have a job, are not considered as the labor force. Then we have disguised unemployment. The number of workers engaged in a job is much more than the number of people actually required. So those extra people who are being engaged in some business but they are not productive will be known as disguised unemployment. And then we have natural rate of unemployment. The natural rate of unemployment is the unemployment that occurs as a normal part of the functioning of the economy sometimes taken as the sum of frictional and structural unemployment and there are ups and downs in the the red lines are showing unemployment rate and the blue line is showing natural rate of unemployment then we have frictional unemployment frictional unemployment is the portion of unemployment that is due to the normal working of the labor market used to denote short-run job skill mismatching problems moving people from one job to another job in search of job are the types of frictional unemployment then we have structural unemployment structural unemployment tells us that with this transition of e economies jobs are disappearing and changing significantly especially lower skill jobs and somehow high skill jobs too Structural unemployment is a form of involuntary unemployment caused by a mismatch between the skills that workers in the economy can offer and the skills demanded of workers by the companies. Robotics, automation, digitalization, artificial intelligence, skill demand, technological advancements are the types of structural unemployment. Then we have cyclical unemployment. Cyclical employment happens when we are going to subtract unemployment rate from natural rate of unemployment we will be getting cyclical unemployment. So it happens when the company or the, when the country is in the recessions. So because the aggregate demand in the country is low, that aggregate demand can be low due to any reason. So because the aggregate demand is low, the factories and the companies are going to produce less. This is why they may make downsizing of the company by firing people and causing unemployment. Then we have seasonal unemployment. Seasonal unemployment is unemployment due to changes in the season, such as lack of demand of ice cream and ice during January. And seasonal unemployment is a form of structural unemployment as the structure of the economy changes from month to month or quarter to quarter. So the quarterly change in the demand is the type of seasonally unemployment. So less demand of sweaters in summers and more demand of heaters in winters are the types of seasonal unemployment. So in this way you can find that when there is off season, factories need not to work at that time. This is why they are going to cause seasonal unemployment. And when the season is back, people are going to go on work again and they are going to get fined their jobs again and they will be continuing with their work. So seasonal unemployment happens for a short time period and it will be get coming back to the economy. Now we are going to calculate measuring unemployment. So here are a few formulas. First of all, we should, if we want to calculate labor force, we should have two data with us. We should know how many number of people who are employed and 
how many number of people who are unemployed so when we are going to add these two we will be getting labor force the same way if we want to calculate the population we should have the data of total labor force of your country and the people who are not in labor force now what are those who are not in labor force are the people who are 16 uh, who are less than 16 years and who are older than 60 or 65 years or you can say the ones who are not willing and able to do work will be known as not in labor force so if we have all these two data we can calculate the population then comes unemployment rate of the country so for this sake we should have unemployed people and we should have employed and unemployed people too so when we are going to put all the stuff into that data we can get unemployment rate then if we want to calculate labor force participation rate we need to understand how much are the labor force and what is the total population of the country so when the data will be given you are going to put the data and you will be getting the answers so to do the calculation of all these questions like how to calculate labor force population unemployment rate and labor force participation rate you should know these formulas so that you can do the calculation so data will be given you are going to put the uh, stuff into the formula and you'll be getting the answers so this was all about my today's lecture if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you